the Joe Rogan experience. That was the toughest part about the real long dives that we did. Like every time stuff went into the nine, ten hour range, it's like you're not eating anything. Right, right. You come out and you're haggard. No, I can imagine, man. Yeah. That's got to be fucking hard. Just when I do the UFC and I don't really eat for like six or seven hours, it's hard. It fucks with you. Yeah. Your your brain is just your brain's like, hey man, this is not working well. Like we need some extra stuff. Something's <laughs> yeah. missing. What's missing? Why don't you eat something? Occasionally I'll get a hot dog or something when I'm doing those, but um, that's just that. That's just sitting there talking. You yeah. Know, which you know what's incredible? How much burns off energy is playing chess. Uh-huh. They did these. Um, they had these world class chess players in these mm-hmm. world championship events, and they found that they were burning thousands of calories just sitting there playing chess because they were all losing weight and they're trying to figure out why are these guys losing weight like what's happening over the course of this tournament you know yeah, of a just couple of there. but their brain is firing look at that 6000 calories Robert Sapolsky our guy That's insane. who's uh, the uh, Stanford professor who uh, we've had on the podcast who studies stress in primates at Stanford University says that a chess player can burn up to 6000 calories a day while playing in a tournament three times what an average person consumes in a day yeah, so they've they've figured this out fairly recently because a lot of these guys are losing shitloads of weight. That's wild. Yeah, your brain. I wonder, like, I don't think commentary burns off anything near what a chess player burns off, but I wonder what it does because you, you are thinking all day while you're watching the fights. I wonder how much I'm burning. Because, yeah. dude, when I get out of there, I eat like a fucking wolf. Could you check your whoop strap? Do you have it's it on gonna, usually? Yes, I do. But yeah, it's, but your heart rate, your heart rate right isn't now. going up. Yeah, well, also the whoop strap is measuring. Yeah, it's measuring your heart rate, and it's also. Uh, I mean, it's uh, based on your activity. Yeah. I don't. I don't think it's going to know like mental, like because I don't think their heart rate is jacked. If they're they're burning six thousand calories a day just sitting oh, there. Oh yeah, it's going to get measure calories burned off of your physical activity. Yes. Right. Not like right. brain activity. Or yeah. Right. It's, it's right. an yeah, additional yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's also like different exercises that are uh, physically taxing and also mentally taxing. Yeah. They have to be consuming more calories. Oh, yeah. Like um, like I was saying about the dives, mm-hmm. like I've done dives that are 6 to 12 hours long. And Jeez you get out of the water Christ. and you, like I'm sitting there, I'm think, like I'm using my brain a lot. Yeah. But it's also cold as fuck. And I've come out of the water a couple of times and lost 8 plus pounds. Wow. In the water. In the water. Dude, that's nuts. It, yeah, it's Where's not, it going? Out. So it's all becoming a part of the ocean? I guess. I don't know. Right? I mean, I'm, yeah, you're, you're, you're pissing losing, out a lot of liquid. Losing water to the ocean while you're in the water. Oh, yeah. You could get dehydrated while immersed in water. Yep. This is that Polar, that company that uh, Polar Straps, mm-hmm. there's like it's a popular one too. Um, they tracked a chess champion, 21 years old, in October. He burned 560 calories in two hours of sitting and playing chess, mm. which is about the same amount as Roger Federer would burn in an hour of te- singles tennis. Really? What? I mean, that's an hour of working out. I've done. I've, that's about what I do. Like an hour of an elliptical is about 560, 600. But I would feel like Federer just hopping around all that plyos. But he's, he's back. super every efficient. Seconds, yeah, that's true. He's hyper super efficient. efficient, right? Like Bernard Hopkins when he used to box. Yeah, you know, it was super efficient. Yeah. Elevate, sustained elevated blood pressure. I wonder if chess is the pinnacle of things that you do that aren't physical in terms of movement but are uh, in- incredibly calorie taxing. I wonder if that's the number. I mean, that's a very complex game. Oh, my or, God. That, I would, that and maybe like go. brain surgery yeah, go. where you're barely moving but you're like s- concentrating oh, so hard yeah. for hours and hours at a time. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's certain things that you do, though, after it's over. You're just fucking exhausted and starving to death. Like, when I do two shows a night after it's over, I'm so hungry. And that has to be oh, something yeah. like do two hour 10, hour 15 minute sets. Because you're thinking and you're, you're managing it while you're doing it. And there's a giant audience there. And you got to be fucking on oh my point. God. Yeah, that's... Uh, but I think the UFC makes me more hungry. But it's also like six hours, seven hours in a day. And you're probably moving around a lot, too. Yeah. <laughs>